Oz du Soleil here, Datascopic, and this came up in a workshop that I taught recently. How do you have a value in one cell determine the image that shows up in another cell? It's a little bit tricky, but it's entirely doable, and there are lots of good reasons to do it. So here we have a picture of peanuts and a picture of donuts. So let's insert one more picture. Okay, let's grab a picture of coffee. And we have to resize it. The picture has to fit entirely in a cell. Put the peanuts here. The donuts will go here. And the coffee there. So let's do this. Um, peanuts. Donuts. next thing that we have to do is we have to name these ranges. Select the cell, not the picture. Select the cell. And then we're going to name this peanuts. Then we'll go down to the picture of the donuts. And we're going to name this donuts. Now, of course, cell B4 is going to be titled coffee. Alright, so now we want to, let's say, go over here and we want to say this is where we want our image to change. So if it says peanuts here, we want to see a picture of peanuts right here. So I'm going to copy this cell. Again, not the picture, but the cell. Copy. As a linked picture. Now here's where it's going to get a bit tricky. This image here is right now is called B2. We need for it to look in J2, see peanuts, and show us a picture of peanuts. So here's what we need to do. We need to name this image. We're going to define the name, and let's call it choice. And say equals indirect, open parentheses, and then J2, close parentheses. Now we have to go into this address bar and change B2 and call it choice. Now let's see what happens. Coffee. Great. Now what happened? Donuts. A picture of donuts does show up. The next challenge is how to automatically have either peanuts, donuts, or coffee show up in J2. I need some room here. Let's say add, insert. Now we want to say item peanuts coffee donuts. Put votes here. Three, eight, one equals max. So eight is the maximum number. And then I'm going to do equals V lookup. Look up what? Look up here, comma, and the array here. 
comma, and we want the second column and an exact match. Coffee is right here. Let's make J5 equal to I3. And now we do have coffee here. Say if donuts was 20, now we show donuts. 94, 95, 100 coffee 120 donuts there you have it thanks a lot and thanks for the question in the workshop